Summit. China and Kenya have always been the leaders. Together, we have put in place a number of flagship connectivity projects, giving a strong boost to economic and social development in the region and bringing benefits to our two peoples. Recently, we just held the third plenary session of the 20th CPC Central Committee, laying out a strategic plan for comprehensively deepening reform to advance Chinese modernization. Mr. President, under your leadership, Kenya is also pressing ahead in its economic reform and transition. China wishes to take the opportunities presented by the summit to further align our development strategies and to take our comprehensive strategic and cooperative partnership to new heights. Thank you very much for welcoming me to China and for the hospitality expended to me and my delegation. It is an occasion, Your Excellency, to thank you also for convening FOCAC the all-important um, forum that brings China and Africa together. It is also an important opportunity for Kenya-China comprehensive partnership agreement, a strategic partnership that is based on a people-to-people -people engagement framed on programs that are mutually beneficial between our two countries and based on mutual respect and trust. Your Excellency, let me commend your leadership of uh, the South-South Cooperation that brings together many developing countries and to specifically point out the relationship between Kenya and China. As you know, Your Excellency, I was here last year for the BRI summit. And I want to thank you for the conclusion of the program on Kenya's rural roads, the intelligence transport system that has now been concluded, and the progress that has been made on our technical vocational equipment program, Bosta Dam, the Nairobi Northern Bypass, and the Mudaiga Kiambu Bypass programs that have already, uh, we've made very good progress, and hopefully we should be able to conclude.